Hi, Carter High School. This is your interim principal, Mr. Garcia. Today, we're going to be talking about our reopening of the athletic program here at Carter High School. Um, I have invited Mr. Paluba to explain to us the procedures and how we are going to be developing this in the next few weeks and how we're going to be starting uh, our athletic conditioning next week. So he will give you some information, some guidelines we have to follow in order for us to continue to provide uh, athletic conditioning here at Carter High School. So I'll leave you with Mr. Paluba. Good morning. My name is Joe Paluba, the athletic director here at Carter High School, and we are getting ready to reopen athletics, and I'd like to say welcome back. There are a lot of protocols and procedures that are being put in place. Some are much more strenuous than you've ever been part of before here on this campus, but it is all being done with the mind of safety first. That is our biggest and most utmost concern from now until the end of June, safety first. So ladies and gentlemen, the way it's going to work is as of Monday, April 5th, between the hours of 3 p.m. and approximately 8 p.m., our athletic programs are reopening. The only case being different is football. They're starting on Monday, April 12th, one week later. That'll give us some time to you know, get through the logistics of it all. Upon entry, a car will come in as if they were going to a home side football game through the middle gates of the campus. And at that point in time, you will be directed by a safety officer to park your car. Please park your car. Because now your child will leave to go into the line, temperature check line, question line in order to get on campus. Until your child is inside the gate, please do not leave. If your child is not allowed inside the gate, it'll just have to, you'll just have to come back anyway. So please, just wait. There's also another purpose. If you're missing any paperwork besides the physical exam, you can fill that out immediately, hence we can get your child into the gate. Only a physical exam not being completed will stop a child from entering. If a child is late, that means they've missed their check-in time. They will not be allowed into practice that day. I am sorry, but that is the rule. The rules are very strict and they're for a reason. They are to keep the pod as safe as possible at all times, and the pod cannot have entry after it has already been established that day. If your child missed it that day, yes, they may still possibly be able to enter that pod the following day if the pod has not reached its maximum of 25. Now, upon your child getting in, they are now under our under our protocols. And in being there, we have everything. We have, we, I believe we have 13 sanitation stations, which include Purell dispensers, as well as portable sinks. And we have multiple water stations, multiple ice bucket stations, bags. We have all of the PPE equipment that any child could need. If you desire gloves, we will provide gloves. If your child wishes for a shield or a mask, we shall provide that. If your child wishes for his own hand, hand sanitizer bottle, we shall provide that also. Whatever is necessary. Everything is in the mindset of safety only. So now your child has come inside the campus and he's with his pod and he's going to practice. The backside gates along Maple Hill will be, will be locked. The exterior gates of the campus will be locked except for the in and out of the parking lot by the football stadium. Now, after practice is over, your child will come out through the main gate and will go to a designated area. You may not know where that is, but your child and coach will and they will let you know, I'm sure, expediently. Upon arrival now, you pick up your child and then you can go home. I must reinforce this. You may not pick up someone else's child. If it is your child, it must be with you. If you are picking up someone else's child, you must, you must, you have no choice because the child will not be released. I apologize in advance. They will not be released to an extraneous party without permission and consent from that parent speaking to an administrator or the athletic director, myself. They must do this. There are children that walk to practice. We know that. There are children that drive to practice. We know that as well. In those cases, upon arrival, they will be given a unique and separate wristband, okay? And that just signifies that at the end of the day, they may go home without being stopped. We will socially distance kids that walk until the end of the parking lot, until they are now on Linden. After that, they are on a public street, and I'm sorry to say we do not have control. This is only being done for the safety of you, your family, the members of Carter Athletic staff, and the community of Rialto.
We want this to be successful, and I apologize in advance if you find any of this offensive, but these protocols and these procedures are only being done for the safety of your children and of our staff. We hope that if you have any further questions, you would contact us, jpaluba at rialtousd.org. That will be coming as well as a slide later on in this presentation, as will the coaches' information, and their email will be provided to you in a later slide. And I hope, I hope that if you have any problems at all, please do not hesitate in contacting us. We want to make sure that you feel comfortable with what is happening. Thank you very much. My name is Joe Palou with the Athletic Director of Carter High School, and we hope to see many of you Monday, April 5th, between the hours of 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Have a good day. Thank you for watching today. Uh, please remember that if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, remember that our website is being updated um, uh, weekly. And if you have any questions for Mr. Paluba, he's under the athletics link. You can email any of the assistant principals or you can call us. But uh, we don't want any questions to be unanswered, so please let us know. So thank you so much. And re please remember, stay hungry.